A Lee County mom outraged tonight after her 13 year old daughter claims that a substitute teacher reached in between and under her legs to get her cell phone in class. Tonight, the mom and daughter talking to Four in Your Corners' Deborah Souverain about what the girl wrote about what happened. Deborah? Patrick, the mother you're about to hear from says she's speaking out because she doesn't want what happened to her daughter to happen to any other students. You can hear Kathy's disappointment as she reads what her daughter wrote to police. It's about what she claims a substitute teacher did to her at school. When I went to sit, he rushed over to me and started to grab me between the legs, trying to get my phone like he was wrestling with me. Each word forcing her to reflect on how and why an incident over a cell phone was handled in a way she believes was physical assault. It makes you question if your child is in a safe environment. The incident happened Thursday at Calusa Middle School. My daughter was in tears. She was shaken. She told me that she felt violated. She told me, you know, that she didn't feel safe. Milby says the substitute teacher was trying to take her daughter's cell phone away but took things too far. Her hand was up on the table so he had to reach over her hand to try to get to the phone. And I guess that was unsuccessful so then he went from this side between the two legs under her thigh trying to get to the phone. She has filed a police report over the incident but says the damage is already done. I think it was more of a thing that she felt like she was violated. That really tore up my heart, you know. Uh, Milby says her daughter was using her cell phone to listen to music. Students are allowed to use their phones in class. However, it must be for an approved activity. I reached out to the Lee County School Board, but they did not respond in time for this report. It's not clear if her daughter was given permission to use her phone, but Milby says there's no excuse for how the substitute teacher handled it. Step up their standards, you know, and, and make sure that they're getting the right qualified type of people in the classrooms. Kathy has filed a report with the Lee County Sheriff's Office and says she hopes more training is provided for substitute teachers to avoid incidents like the one that happened to her daughter. In the newsroom, Deborah Souverain, Fox 4, in your corner.